welcome to this expert app blog showing you how to improve the appearance of your legends. If you have text labels that are too long for the width of your legend, then you can simply go to the legend properties and select the layout tab. You can then choose one of the two text wrapping options and type in the width you want your label to be. Once you click apply, you'll now see that your long labels have now been neatly stacked on top of each other so they fit within your legend boundaries. If you choose to change the study area or scale of your map, this will often result in certain features no longer being visible in your data frame or new features now being visible in your data frame. It is very important that your legend reflects these changes so your map is easily understood. There is now a handy dynamic option within your legend properties that once selected, your legend will only show the classes that are visible in your current map extent. You can see in this example, the different pipeline classes have now been reduced. Our legend is still looking a bit untidy so next, we need to make sure that all the elements are aligned. To do this, we can either use the align options from the particular features context menu to align all the features neatly, or we can create some guidelines for the elements to snap to. It is possible to create more than one guideline by simply clicking on the ruler. These guides can then be cleared once you've finished with them by right clicking and selecting clear. And voila, you now have a neat and tidy legend that is dynamic and can be easily understood. Mm -hmm.